Hey guys, PB here, and I'm going ahead and doing a video on my very first trail magic box that Powderhorn the Pilgrim gave me. He's my buddy that actually got me interested in the Appalachian Trail eons ago. So, as you can see, I've already gone ahead and opened up the box, and the first item that he provided me was this very nice hat. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is beautiful. And he's went ahead and sewn on a brass eagle heel. And he's went ahead and put some beads on. So that's the main thing here that I'm going to go ahead and have on constantly when I'm hiking. So I can go ahead and get into a little bit of a better seated position so I can open up this box and really show off the contents. So first off, when I open this up here, is he provided me with a lot of little goodies. That way I can have some fun when I'm hiking. And the first thing here is he provided me with a lot of drawstring bags. As you never know when you're going to need some stuff to hold your contents when you're out hiking. And these were all just different bags. I go ahead and have some nice little things here. I can hold some stuff in. Uh, some stuff on my phone. He's even provided me some feared notes as well. So I'm going to be taking some notes when I'm actually hiking. Next thing is he provided me a butt pillow or an actual setting pad, depending on what terminology you want to say. So this is something I actually haven't picked up yet as I was going ahead and waiting on doing so. As everything I've came across in the different stores or online has been either way too expensive or just way too kind of sad. And this one I think is going to work out great and it's just big enough for my ass so I can go ahead and actually use it. Next thing here in the list is he provided me, if I can grab a hold of the blasted things, are some Bass Pro Shop playing cards. These are plastic, and that way if we're in the shelter, hey, it's raining, I need to take a zero day because maybe the food I ate the night beforehand didn't set good with me, I can go ahead and play some cards. That way I won't be wasting my battery on my phone. And, you know, you never know when the opportunity to go ahead and play some blackjack, poker, just anything to go ahead and use the cards will come into play. So, on the trail, you do have phone signal, T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, etc. However, it's really a smart idea not to go ahead and constantly be using your phone for music or telephone calls and things of that nature. One of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to load up this 4 gig media player that he provided me with a lot of podcasts and different musical options. So that way, when I'm hiking, I don't have to worry about wasting my phone battery constantly. Now, the next thing here on the list is he's went ahead and provided me with a few different hats, hats and bandanas. So, got a little beanie here. That way I can go ahead and use this when I'm sleeping. I have a few other beanies I already have packed in my pack, and I'll go over those when I do a proper gear review. Got some bandanas, because that's one thing you always need, is you always need a lot of bandanas. Mainly, you can use these to filter water. You can use these to go ahead and wear. You can use these as a signal in case something happens. And that's the main thing a lot of trail hikers will tell you is always make sure that you have a bandana or three in your possession so they can be used for all kinds of different purposes. Have here another drawstring bag. So this is good to have. And... Steve has provided me a little bit of odds and ends. Now, as you can see in here, if you're just looking through, he's provided me a lot of different of the clips here. And you can never really have too much of those, so that's a good thing. He's gave me a nice little flask, which I can go ahead and have this for whiskey and some other hard spirits. Because, come on, you know, you don't want to be drinking water all the time when you're hiking. It's going to get boring. Got me a few collapsible items here, some cups, some plates. Got me a nice fire starter. We actually have two of these in here because I've already looked through the pack here just to do a pre-estimate of what was provided. Make sure everything was, you know, appropriate. Have some nice little binoculars here. Little pocket ones. That way I can go ahead and keep these in my pants if I need to go ahead and see what's around instead of digging through my pack. 
Now, one thing I'm actually really impressed that he provided me here was a pocket rumble. Now, I've used these in the past, but I haven't had any in my own possession for quite a while. And these are great to have. You just need to go ahead and have either Zippo or Butane Fuel inside of them. So you can go ahead and use these on the cold day. So I'm really happy that he provided me one of these. And I'll actually do another video later on of how this actually operates just because of how unique it is. As most people don't use these. They use the gel ones where they're in the packs that are sealed and you just press them together. And once you get done using them, you dispose of them. But this one is a metal one. Got some nylon cord, obviously. Got a lot of that cord. And you really just need these in case of, you know, you need to repair something, tie something down. It's just nice to have extra. Have me a nether canister here, which is always good to have. More fire starting tool. A nice little compass here. Because this is one thing I actually have been wanting to get for a while as a good compass. And when I go ahead and start making some more videos, I'm going to go ahead and start relying on this more. Because the, the issue I always foresee is you always have people go ahead and use digital items on the phone. Uh, survival manuals, digital compasses, elevation markers, things to that nature. And that's nice to have in this age where everything is digital. But what happens if your phone runs out of energy? It's gone. Juice dead. Well, you need to know how to use a fiscal compass. And that's one thing that I'm so glad he provided me with. So one thing that Powderhorn the Pilgrim really wanted me to go ahead and have is he went ahead and got me a harmonica. Now, this harmonica here is something I do not know how to properly play. And that is one of the tasks that he gave to me was learn how to play this damn thing while I'm on that trail. Entertain the bales is what he was saying. So I'm going to be learning how to play that. <laughs> so, hey, if you hear me, you know, playing in the woods, and then there you go.